Okay, cool. So let's begin. Um, yeah, welcome to new guys. New guys here, welcome. And old guys here, welcome. So again, the biggest key difference that we're going to be doing from this quarter and from here on out, opposed to what we have done in the past, is focusing on small games, get them done every quarter. So instead of in the past, we've been doing it to where we're doing one game every year, we're going to do one game every quarter. So we're really going to pick small ideas and we're going to just crank them out. Start to finish as best we can. If we don't finish it, too bad. Next quarter, we're starting something new. Doesn't matter. I mean, if we want to take our free time and spend time tinkering with it, by all means, go ahead. But for us, we're just going to be jumping on into the, uh, straight into the next project, whatever it is. So here's the um, quick little outline of what I have for us and what we're going to be doing throughout the quarter. By all means, if you guys have any questions or have any suggestions, don't hesitate to ask. This is like a super, I might be like standing up here and it might feel like a class or whatever. It's not like that. Like this is open communication. We're all just talking. We're all hanging out. We're all making games. It's going to be a good time. So let's go through this. We'll just go through this really briefly to kind of get everybody on the page. We're also going to be recruiting a lot of people. That's a big thing of what's going to be happening Wednesday. So we got week one here, which this, this quarter is going to be kind of weird because we're switching everything up. But it's pretty much setting up every, all the members, getting organized, and then we're going to choose our game idea. That will probably bleed into week two, since, like I said, Wednesday is going to be mostly a recruitment day. We're going to be standing out there doing our best to recruit. But in terms of setting up members, the biggest thing that I need to make sure is I need to get all you guys active on our Trello, because that's how we're going to organize everything. Anytime there's, um, anytime there's like a set assignment to someone, like, hey, this, hey, we need to make a character model, or we need to write a script for whatever, you know, we're going to have specific, we'll have a specific task up here on Trello with specific people who are responsible for writing it or creating that asset, we'll have their name assigned to it and then we'll have somebody else, you'll have something on there like in progress or haven't started, whatever, but Trello is going to be the main way that we organize all of our stuff. So the biggest thing I need you to do is to send me an email through just Whatever email you use, or go on Dog Den and send me a message directly there. But we need to get everybody hooked up on Trello. I know that I know I know Connor and R. I know both you guys have Trello accounts, so that shouldn't be too hard getting you guys organized. And you guys might have them too. I'm not sure, but either way, um, we'll get you guys all set up on Trello. Again, it's going to be like our main. It's going to be the main page as to where we go to like basically do anything, review any tasks that are outstanding that we need to get done for the game, so on and so forth. So once you get logged into Trello, once we add you, like for example, I can probably just type Connor Lundberg here. I'll find it. I think that's you. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so now, so now he's going to get an email being like, Joe Green invited you to this board. Now he can sign up for it. He can access it. So the first thing he's going to do is he's going to log into Trello. Then he's going to go up here to the, our, very first, our very first little task page here, the contact form. And then he's just going to add a card. And then he's going to put like Connor, whatever, and then click on it, and then you're going to, he's going to add a little comment that's going to have information, right? So I mean, I'll delete this now because we don't actually want it. But for example, so I wrote my name, and then underneath it, I have my email, my Google Plus account, my Skype name, and my website. Obviously, just put what's relevant. I mean, if you don't have a website, it's not like you have to make one. Like, that's not a requirement or anything like that. But specifically, Skype name and email, those are the two huge, most important ones. Google Plus is good too if you have a Google Plus account. That way we can do hangouts or we can stay in touch a lot easier. But Skype's going to be our primary method of communication with each other. So if you guys don't use Skype a lot, get used to using it because that's, that's really what we're going to be using a lot. And that's, that's going to be like any time anyone has any idea or any thought or any suggestion or anything like that, just going to throw it up on our Skype chat and be like, hey, how about this thing? And we'll probably respond to it in some way. So that's... That's the biggest thing we've got to make sure we do is getting everyone linked up on Trello and making sure that we have everyone's account information so we can stay organized and keep, keep on track with each other. Okay, now let's hop back into this guy right here. So let's go over this. So week one, like I said, we're going to set up, organize, and we're going to choose a game idea. And remember, we're going to do really small scale game ideas. And again, week one's going to bleed into week two this quarter because we're going to be doing the recruitment stuff. And so let's just follow through here, right? And so next we're gonna once we kind of have a general idea of what we want our game to be, we're gonna we're gonna really start focusing on the game mechanics and really like the goals of the game. This is gonna be primarily building out our game design doc or GDD, which is often referred to. And this is gonna be a Google doc that sits up somewhere will be shared between all of us. 
and it'll kind of have like little information and helpful things that we're working on. So one of the, um, I'll, I can show you guys one for this, or Masters of Conquest, that's the game that I'm working on right now. So this is our game design doc, and again, this is like a large scale game, so our doc will not be this intense. But it basically goes through like the basic ideas of what the game is, right? It's a it's a three based faction game where people have, and then it goes over what each of the factions are, and like and it goes over the abilities of the factions, and just I mean all the stuff you would imagine would be in the game. Basically everything that says this is what the game is, that's what our GDD will eventually become, and that will slowly be evolving throughout the quarter, just with new things that we're adding here and there. And yeah, like I said, a lot of it first couple weeks on page. First couple weeks are all design. I mean, you can see it's not even until week four that we're actually going to be like coding and like really working inside Unity. So probably week one, week two, we'll just be working in the game design doc, like right now mechanics. We'll just be talking about like what we think would make a cool game, sort of thing. Week three, we'll start actually writing out like basic artwork and like drawing out basic stuff. I'm a terrible, terrible artist. I don't know about you guys. There's a reason I'm a computer science major. Um, yeah, so, but that's why I said, like, find a minute example, right? I mean, that's more or less to choose kind of the theme, like the art theme that we're going to have for the game, or, or kind of like our color scheme that we want, and really just, like, if you have a cool idea of what you think that should be in the game, just Google it, right? For, okay, so again, for Master of Conquest, this game I'm working on, we want to add, like, a demonic chainsaw, right? And I didn't know how to draw that, so I just Googled it, demonic chainsaw. And right here in images, like the very first thing that popped up, I was like, that's pretty close to what I want, right? That's like a pretty badass looking chainsaw. So a lot of it's going to be stuff like that. And then you're just going to copy that image and just throw it up on the dock. Don't worry about piracy or anything like that. Like, we're not going to publish the dock. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. It's really going to be only for our reference. And then so once we get like, a good idea, a good theme for we want for the game, week four, again, these weeks are going to be a little weird this first quarter. Week four, we'll start like just the basic coding functions, right? Like a basic player movement for how we're going to do it, perhaps a basic UI, maybe just, just whatever really simple, simple coding stuff we're going to have that we'll likely build upon. Week five, we'll probably get into like the, the actual modeling of stuff and the animating and stuff. So working in, we'll probably work in Blender. If you guys don't have Blender, I highly recommend downloading and getting used to it. It's, um, it's what we'll be working in here in, in Club. It's just like a 3D... It's like a 3D modeling program that allows you to animate stuff too. It's pretty versatile, pretty cool. Uh, let's see, and then once we have some basic artwork, we're gonna we're gonna integrate that into the game. That's what's called technical art. So if you're looking for a job that that says that they want you to be a technical artist, that's essentially what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking these 3D models and you're gonna be integrating them into the game and then writing code and, and little scripts here and there to get these things to actually function and actually do something. So. That will kind of go into week seven, though, the coding features, right? Like once we have our character, our character will probably have like a walking animation, so we'll need to access that walking animation somehow with the script, right? And that'll come in week seven. That'll be really coding the rest of the features, and then again tidying up the UI. And again, at week seven, we'll also have people who have made artistry UI, right? I mean, we're gonna get some artists. I mean, are you guys artists? No. Okay. I mean, we can all, all do a little bit of art just because. When we get to that week, we'll have to kind of do it. But again, I put a little note here that week five, we should have specific people working on specific things, right? I mean, coders should be writing code, artists should be doing art, more or less. I mean, there will be a lot of carryover between the roles, probably because we'll be a pretty small club. And secondly, honestly, shit needs to be done, right? <laughs> if we're the only ones here, we're going to have to make it. So let's keep going. So week seven, then we go. Week eight is going to be. Yeah, finishing up all the technical art and the UI art. So this is going to be really like, once week eight is done, we should be at the point to where the game is in a very loosely finished state. Week nine will be all testing, tidying, finding bugs, fixing these bugs, just trying to break the game basically as much as possible. And then week 10 is going to be packaging it up and finalizing it. I say packaging, we're not, it's not we're going to be like selling it to GameStop or anything. Like it'll just be probably, a free file that people can access on GitHub, and then they can just go and download it, out, and then they can play it if they want. Maybe we can uh, make it like a browser game, so people can just play it on the internet. That might be kind of fun. Um, yeah, here, I mean, I can show you an example. Uh, this is my website. So if we make like a web game, we can export it using Unity WebGL, which we'll get into later. Don't worry about it. And then you can just put it on, on any website, and then you can just access it directly through a, just through an HTML link. 
and then this is taking super long to load. And it's a really, really basic game, probably more basic than what we'll make. But once it loads, I mean, it'll be a fully playable game and everything, and all that good stuff. Um, okay, but I think we'll let that load. We'll come back to it. And I think that kind of covers the very rough, rough outline that we're going to be doing. I mean, do you guys have any questions on this? Any confusion? All right. It's okay. I'm basically. We will learn. So, like, so like the coding basic functions, that would be, will probably be me sitting here in front of you guys, like writing out some code, and then showing you basic, like basic ways to 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 incorporate component-driven design. That's what Unity's based on. This thing called component-driven design. And that just means that every little, they're called assets in Unity, every little little object or thing that's in this game has things that are called components that are attached to it. And these components are like scripts or, or textures or, or like um, colors or, or anything you really want to call it. They're components. And then you take these components and you, and you put a whole bunch of components on this, on this thing called an asset, and then that asset's fully functional because of these components that are each individually working and doing cool things. And that's what component-driven design is, and it's really, really popular, especially in Unity. Like I said, I mean, for like, the artwork, like, following and animating, like, I don't expect you guys to know how to do that. You know, that's not, that'd be crazy for me to just assume that you know how to do that, right? So, probably what will happen is Monday, April 25th, I'll probably sit down, fire up Blender, and start working on some kind of mesh. Just like a basic, basic mesh, and then if you guys want to follow along step-by-step step what I'm doing, that's cool. Or if you guys just want to kind of get the basics of what I'm doing and apply it to your own Mesh. I say mesh. Mesh is just a term for like a model. Any 3D model you find in the world is just called a mesh. So that'll probably be like week five, right? And week four will be relatively similar to where I'm just kind of building stuff and you guys are following along the best you can. And in our free time, it's going to be kind of going that extra step of making it more robust or filling out things you really want to do. But ultimately, we're going to start writing up this doc, right? Week one and week two, we're going to start writing up this doc. Week three, Start choosing kind of what we want our game to sort of look like. Basic, basic art stuff. Week four, start coding, and then week five, we'll probably start assigning people to specific things. Like um, again, we don't know what our game is. We'll pick this probably maybe at the end of our time here, maybe tomorrow or maybe Wednesday. But we'll get to that point. Let's say like it's just a simple platform where we're gonna have a guy run from start to finish, right? Run through a level, end it. Oh, here, I can probably show you. This game's probably done loading. Okay, so just something like this, right? Really basic game. You run to the end of the level. You're going to pick up, this is, called, this is called coffee platformer. You pick up these little, these little coffee beans and you move faster based off of how much coffee you have in your system. And then you run to the end. But so something like that, right? Just inherently, we have to have a start, we have to have a finish, we have to have a UI, we have to have a player movement, we have to have interaction between these coffee beans. And so you can see there's a lot of like little things that need to happen, right? So if we each took one small thing, if I was like, oh, I'll make the coffee beans. So when the player runs over it, he picks up coffee and it adds to his coffee meter. That would probably be like one task. So we put that task in Trello, right? And then assign it to whoever is like, oh, I'll do that. And then just help out that person as much as you can. I mean, if, and the biggest thing among all else that I cannot stress more, if you have questions, definitely ask. Because if you don't, It'll probably take 10 times as longer to figure it out. Connor can test this firsthand. That you just, just ask, because chances are someone here will know, at least have a rough idea on how to find the answer, at the very minimum. So yeah, just ask. I mean, we're all here to help each other. This is, no, this, is, this is no race. This is no rush. We're all here to help each other and just to figure, figure it out. We all just want to make a game, right? We all have the same end goal. So we're just going to do it. OK, so any questions about our really rough outline? Okay, cool, cool. Again, we're going to kind of follow this as best we can. And also, this is on Trello. In Trello, we also have this uh, helpful tools card here that has our timeline that, again, I can't stress this enough, this is very loose timeline. And we also have this little doc. I wrote this doc um, a couple weeks ago on setting up a repository in GitHub. And it really just goes through the steps of like getting a GitHub account and Getting, getting access to our repository and syncing that repository with your Unity. And it's, it's kind of a long step. I think there's like seven steps in here. And it's sort of a pain. 
But again, I can't stress enough, if you're stuck on anything at all, just, just ask. You know, like that's, that's what we're here for. And that's what we're here to help you out with. I mean, as much as we possibly can. But yeah, so I mean, look at that. Your own liberty, it's public. Anyone can access that. Yeah, okay. So, all that said and done. Now let's jump to this next step of what we're going to be doing on Wednesday. So we have to set up this little table for the involvement fair. And we want to make it as exciting as possible. A lot of people say you'll have like games there or something, but I don't think we're going to make a game in two days. So we probably won't, unless we have like some kind of board game. So we should, I was thinking maybe we could all talk about ideas for things that we could have at our table or our booth, right? Any suggestions? <laughs> okay. Everyone does like snacks. It's true. That's a very good point. All right. All right. We can write that there. Snacks. Snacks. All right. Anything else? I have an idea. What if we had a little box that people could come by? A little box with a lot of little slips of paper, and people could come by and they could write down a game idea and be like, "This is what this is what you guys should make." And we probably won't choose it, but at least it'll give them like the feeling like they're being involved in some way. So maybe like a, a game suggestion box. Okay. So like pull out a laptop and show it, you think? That's true. Yeah. We didn't make that a club though. But yeah, sure. And yeah, we probably won't show the last one in all honesty, because in all reality, there's a ton of just a ton of stuff that went into that project, but it just looks like crap because it's so unfinished. So we'll probably I like the idea of showing Roll for Your Life. That'd be a good, just really basic game. For those of you guys like, what the heck's Roll for Your Life? That's a game that Connor and I made at this game jam. Yeah, guys, and that's another big thing that that I personally love to do, and you guys are definitely more than invited every single time there is one. It's just there's a lot of game jams, specifically in Seattle, so I know it's, it's, it's not that great if you guys live out here in Tacoma, but a lot of game jams, and you just go, and it's like a 24-hour to 36-hour event, and you just make something. And this is the game that we made. It's, it's going to take a while to load, but that's all right. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to put a showcase, showcase game. Here's the thing, though, at least for, uh, for this one. People are going to come up here, and they're going to be like, oh, I think you guys should make like a... Massive, massively multi, yeah, make Call of Duty, that'd be cool, and it's like, let's be real here, right? I mean, in all reality, the game we make will probably be less in-depth than even this Wolf Your Life game that is going to take forever to load. All right, any other suggestions for this? Oh, yeah, so high quality. What will this be? This will be table. The best part of this game is the Why, because you made that? <laughs> Because he made them and I had to go through it and I edit them. <laughs> also, um, do you guys want to come to this with me? I'm going to be there at noon. I have a class till 1220, but I'm just going to bounce early. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all good. It's right out here on the on the trail, I think. Let me see if I can get more of an exact idea. I don't know. Give me one second. I'll pull it up here. It's called the Involvement Fair. Dun, 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 dun. To 1.30. Okay, 1.30. So, 12 to 1.30. I'll be there the whole time, but if you guys have class, obviously I'm not going to tell you, like, skip class. Okay, what time is your summer at? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so I'll be set up there. I mean, I'll get set up at some point. I mean, I'll, r around noon. I'm going to probably leave my class at noon. So, I mean, do you guys want to come? Chill at, the, chill at the table? Yes? Just kind of, I mean, <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> so much fun, I haven't done anything. Yeah. So, okay, cool. I mean, I think more than anything is just have bodies there and have people that come up and they want to be like, oh, where's it located? I bet a ton of people will ask us where it's located, like where our club's located. Joy 207, 1230 to 105. A lot of people are going to ask, like, what do we do? And we're just, we just, we're going to make, every quarter we're going to make a new video game. Boom, that's it. Like, no bar, that's just it. Just done, done deal. So that's, that's, those are probably the main two questions we'll get asked. Like, where is it? What do you guys do there? And um, 
yeah, I mean, if you guys want to come and come with me, like I said, I'll have a table there. We're going to have to get some stuff for it. I like the idea of snacks. Just some basic snack. Um, game's just mouth. Showcase the game. Oh, yeah, let's see if this game loaded. So this is still not loaded. All right, cool. Any other suggestions for our, our table? I was thinking it'd be cool if we went like really epic with it, but it, I don't think that's possible. Yeah. Like get like a whole bunch of monitors and set them up and have like some cool thing. Yeah, I probably would. In all honesty, it is Seattle. So yeah, any other suggestions for what we should have up there? Some poster board or something. Poster board? Okay. Like, we could always put on some artwork, like a picture of a model from the game. It's going to be hard to do anything animated from the process. Maybe flyers? Flyers to hand out? We'll have to write up those flyers. I mean, I, I, mean, I suck at it. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, good. And then, yeah, I figure as flyers as I hand out to people, like. like Yes, good call. I should that. <laughs> Fires with Try to figure out why it isn't loading and make sure it loads the day we need to do it. Or if not, we can just show that little copy game that I made that's just a little 2D platform. I mean, I have a lot of games that I, I've created that I could showcase, so I'm not really too worried about that. And, okay. I don't think all of it works because part of I guess I could just run it through Unity, couldn't I? Because I probably have it on here. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, it's created on that old build, so it's going to have to redo everything. That's cool. Uh, let's see. I think that's good for a table, though. I mean, I'm sure some people will have like some cool stuff at their table or whatever. Like, I'm not too worried about it. The biggest thing is we need to get some artists because I suck at art. I know the fundamentals of how to do it. Like, I can teach you guys how to 3D model. I can teach you guys how to texture objects. Teach you guys how to integrate those and animate those. Do I can teach you all the basics of how to do it. It's just when I do it, it just doesn't look very good. I'm not a very good artist, so. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that guy, but anyways. Okay, cool. All right, and I mean the last thing is we need to we need to figure out what our officers are going to be this quarter. So if you guys are interested in becoming an officer of the club, let me know. We need to have vice president, secretary. Treasurer and public liaison, I think is what it's called. So basically, the vice president would be responsible for more or less sending out the emails, like the one that I sent out the other day, just being like, hey, this is what we're changing, we're changing this idea for the club. Um, the secretary would be responsible for anything that I write on the board, basically, make sure that it gets added to. If it's relevant specifically to the game we're working on, make sure that it gets put on the GDD or game design doc wherever, whenever we get that set up, which will probably be, I guess not Wednesday, I guess Monday next week. And then the treasurer, treasurer doesn't have to do anything. I mean, in all reality, the biggest thing the treasurer has to do is if we get to the points to where we want to ask the school for funding for whatever it is we want to ask school funding for, it's going to be really uh, the treasurer's responsibility to make sure they keep track of all the funds where they're going. In. Like for example, there's a chance that we could get the school to pay for us all to go to like PAX in the summertime. Yeah, just because we'd be like, hey, you know, we're a game development club and we're all super interested in, in learning about game development. You know, we want to go to a, a big game developer conference, like. Pax. Pax is a huge game conference. And there's a good chance that they could they would pay for us to like take like five or like maybe like five people, buy us like five tickets to go to Pax. So 
That'd be something that the treasurer, I mean, the treasurer talked to me about it. We, we figured it all out. And then finally, the public liaison. I don't remember if that's the actual name of it. I don't know, something stupid like that. I just have to make something up. So that, that person's responsibility is like going to be kind of helping spread the word about the club. And one of the big things that I want to do is actually go to classes and sit in front of the class for like five minutes before it starts from the break or whatever and just be like, hey, you know, we're a game developers club here at UWT. We're going to make a game every quarter. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I don't know when you have a class on Wednesday, uh, Who do you have, Fowler? Uh, Brian. Oh, okay, I don't even know. Uh, that's, that's fine. But yeah, I mean, for sure, we need to talk to, really, I mean, all the classes we can. Like, it's great to talk to programmers that we're going to end up having, you know, 12 programmers in here and no one can do art. So we also need to make sure we go and, and, and we want to, like, really get the word out to art classes and, and I mean, every class, right? <laughs> I mean, there's one part, just that one part here. This is, this would be like hand-drawn art. If anyone is so inclined to like be like, oh, I have a really cool idea for what I think, I'm gonna draw it out real fast. I can't do that. I'm the kind of guy who's like, oh, I have a cool idea. I'm gonna search on Google for 10 minutes until I find an image representing kind of what I thought it should look like. So, yeah, so I mean, if you wanna draw, and if you like it, and if it's something that you think you're good at, by all means, hand-draw some stuff for like some concept art. That'd be real cool, but you won't see me doing that, that's for sure. Yeah, but I mean, more or less, I would just be right if someone who finds some internet examples or, or like, write some stuff out, take a picture of it, throw all the game design doc, and then we'll just keep everything there. And we'll just kind of collaborate with it. Yeah, let's see here. This thing's still loading. It's getting close. All right, any questions? Well, Concerns? Oh, you got it going? Yeah. I think I need to. Uh, oh, no, there it is. Cool. Oh, yeah, music files. That was the, one of the biggest problems with this game, is that we had that guy make our music files, and he just went, he just went crazy with it, man. He made, like, just some insane music files. Okay, so this is Roll for Your Life. This is a game that we made at our, at, um, the... Seattle, yeah, Seattle Game Jam. Oh, I can't hear the sound. Anyways. Okay, so you pretty much just pick a level. Level four. Level four, okay, so we'll pick level four. And then we're going to click windmill, and then we can set the windmill. And we're going to, and then we drag to angle it. And then once we get it lined up, these are little zombies, we got to avoid these zombies. And once you get lined up to where you want it to go, you hit roll. It's going to roll the guy down. Oh, I should aim for that portal, huh? That's what I was supposed to do. Oh, yeah, that's right. I hate this. The fact that you can place wind windmills whenever you want, and you can just, like, drop it, and it's going to go. I, I think that's stupid, but anyways. Okay, I failed that level. Maybe we should reset it. I mean, you know, this is just a basic, basic game. You know, we, we'll make something l like this. You know, it'll be very minimal art assets, very minimal coding, very minimal work. But just something that has like a game loop, right? We won. Beat that level. Go back to level select, and then it'll, it'll track your high score. And so there's just a bunch of different levels that are all laid out relatively similar to that, right? This is a big, big U shape with a bunch of zombies down here at the bottom. Yeah, anyways. So we made that the game jam. We could definitely showcase that on our booth. I think that would get the point across. Maybe we'll pick it every game. I don't know. We'll see. For sure, for sure. I mean, ultimately, I would like to get a game that that, that we could hook up a controller to, and so we could sit with a controller and like, kind of stand back and play, rather than having to be hunched over and use like a mouse and keyboard. I think that's a little a little invasive, and people aren't going to want to do that. Plus, I don't think we're going to get people. I mean, I have no idea what to expect from this. In my mind, I'm thinking we're going to have like someone's going to be like playing a game, we're going to be like watching from around, and that probably won't happen. I mean, it'll probably be like every like 30 seconds, we'll have like one person walk by. It'll be Probably a lot more dead than I'm thinking in my head, but who knows? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. No. Do you want to play this game? No, I don't. No. Yeah, that'll probably happen. That's okay though. I mean, you can only ask for so much. Sure. Yeah. I mean, we could we could get crazy with it if we wanted to. 
Okay, so I think that's about it. No other questions? Keep in mind, if you guys want to be an officer, just let me know. Oh, and most importantly, though, is send me an email. Just either at... At tier, tier young, K-Y-R, okay. Okay. If you're interested in becoming a member or becoming an officer, let me know when you send me that email. But at the very least, email me at that email address with the following information. Like, uh, thanks, Connor just did it. He added, oh, but don't, but don't add that underneath my name. See what I'm saying here? Yeah. So add a card, put your name on it, and then once you have the name on it, then add a comment to that card with the relevant information. But just like that, right? Your Skype name and your email. At the very least, and then we'll have a we have a Skype group that is uh let's see I don't think Skype's open on this it's gonna take a second to open up. It's just called Game Dev Club. As soon as I get you guys in there, I'll I'll invite you into it. We'll get going and we'll be set up. Good to go. Good to rock and roll. Just your email address and your Skype username. And if you're interested in being an officer, just let me know, and let me know what role you'd like to do. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, everything looks good. I think um, I think we're gonna be off to a great start. I'm super, super excited about this quarter. I think it's I think it's gonna be a lot more fun, and it's gonna be a lot more focused. In the past, we were kind of all over the place, mostly because it was kind of like there's so much to do. You know, I mean, it's just kind of hard to start narrowing things down and making them. But if we have a smaller base game, then we can have very specific things that each person is going to work on, and I think that'll really yield a lot better result. Yeah, and again, I can't stress it enough. If you obviously we're not even to the point where you've even opened Unity yet, but once we get there, we're working and stuff, and we're doing things. If you have any questions, just do not hesitate. Like, just ask, man. Just ask. Like, you couldn't ask enough questions. There's always answers. Always answers, and you know, if you ask us something that. We don't know. We'll we'll figure it out together, sort of thing. You know, I'm more than happy to go and do some, find some research with, with you guys. But cool. You guys, all good? good? All right. So I'll see you on Wednesday then. I guess. Um, I guess we should probably have a place we're gonna meet. I'll be. Um. I'll tell me you can hear. On Wednesday. Can you? Okay. Nice Overwatch bag. That's it. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll be here. I'll be. I don't know. I gotta go talk to somebody about this, and I'll figure out more information. Again, send me an email with your Skype name. I'll put more info in the Skype about what we're actually, what's gonna happen on Wednesday, and how it's gonna go down. And uh, and if I need help from any of you guys, like if I need someone to like bake us some muffins. Like, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'll text you. I'll text you. I have my number. And yeah, man, I think that's about it. Cool. Yeah, glad to see you guys here. Good to meet you guys. What were your names again? I totally forgot. Bryce. Bryce? Zach. Bryce, Zach. Bryce, Zach. Alright, I can remember that. Sweet. And then, um, yeah, cool. So I'm looking forward to it. I'll get you guys emails today, get you guys set up in Trello, get you guys set up. Oh, yeah, it looks like Bryce is already on top of it. Um, Bryce Anderson. That's, yeah, that's not true. Okay, well, if you do, cool. If you don't, get one. And then um, make sure you make a, make sure you get a Trello account, too. Because this is, like, again, this is going to be how we're communicating about everything. This will be super helpful. I mean, what? Oh, yeah, super easy. And then, like, if you ever want to make a card about anything, you know, if you're, like, just go, like, concept art. And then you can just add a card to that, and then you can put, like, Picks, and then you can click on this picks, and then you can add whatever you want, right? You can add specific attachments if like you found some cool stuff on the internet, or you could just write links to it in here. It's pretty versatile. It's pretty easy. Oh yeah, um, I'll put that in the tools. A list of what everyone's gonna need. Um, biggest thing is gonna be make sure you have Unity. That's the that's like the 3D development platform they're working in, Unity 3D. Um, I guess I'll put a comment. I'll call this like a 
development platforms. So we're going to have Unity 3D, which is going to be our the actual game engine that we're going to be making stuff in. Uh, we have Blender, which is going to be a 3D modeling software that we're going to use to make models. We have GIMP, which is going to be like basically a free Photoshop. And that's all we need, just those three. I mean, if you want um, iCode and Visual Studio, but that comes with Unity. There's a free 2015 community edition. It comes with Unity. You can get that, or you can just opt out of it and use Mono Develop. I mean, what you code in, you guys might already know. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's all gonna, it all compiles to the same the same information. Yeah. So make sure um, I'll write out a little more a little description as to what each of these are, and then I'll have a I'll also put a link on there to where you can go to download them. Yeah. Cool. Tell your friends. Let you guys, let, let everybody know. If anyone you know is interested in making games, but it's like too intimidated to. to like, yeah, I mean, it's super intimidating, man. I remember when I first started making games, it was like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just watching a YouTube video and following along, and it's just so hard. But yeah, that's why this club's here. This club's here so we can all figure out how to make them. We can be awesome game programmers. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. All right, Bryce and Zach. And Joe. Joe. Yeah. Yeah, or, or Kiriok, apparently. Yeah, see Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday you know, I'll write up some stuff about that too and throw it all here somewhere. I'll have that. Yep, yep. Oh, wicked player. Yeah, this this would be good. I don't need to make any special <laughs> Cool man. So how are you how you been? Excited for this quarter? Yeah, hopefully it's easy, but I don't have a side of this. Damn. Before before class even starts. Before class even starts. <laughs> well, that's bullshit. Like reading and stuff that I was doing, I'm just gonna get a class and I'd be like, I didn't get by all the books until I showed up today. Yeah. I would I I doubt anyone will be getting any of the reading done that's required. Well, some people will. You know, there's always those students. What class is that? Uh, 